How do you see Julius Randle and Alfred Payton fitting in with this group? Uh, first, with Julius, I just think that, uh, you know, we're all excited about him. Uh, you know, we lost uh, two really good players uh, in DeMarcus and, uh, and, and Rondo. Uh, you know, you have to try to replace talent with talent. Uh, obviously, we don't expect for him to be DeMarcus, uh, but I do think that he'll add some of the things that uh, DeMarcus brought to the, team, to, to, to the table for us. Uh, he can be a facilitator. I think he's a tough guy. I think he can uh, uh, be somewhat like a, a, a Draymond Green type guy by pushing the basketball and being able to, to initiate offense. So I, I, I think that he'll be really good. Alfred is a, a kid that uh, uh, he was second in the NBA as far as getting the ball to the basket uh, behind Westbrook. And so I think anytime you're second behind Westbrook in anything, uh, you're a pretty good basketball player. So. Uh, I think he, we're going to play, in a, he'll play in a system uh, that, that's, that's fit into his ability. I think he needs to be an open court player that pushes the basketball. Um, you know, he was very good defensively the first couple of years, have fallen off a little bit from that. But I think it's something, uh, it's an area where he can get back to being a very good player in those areas also. So I think those guys are going to be a big, big help and a good addition to our team. Do you think it's hard for guys like that to not feel the pressure of replacing two guys that you guys lost? Well, I think the thing that uh, we've made uh, clear to those guys is that, uh, you know, we don't want Alfred to, to try to be Rondo. Uh, we don't want Julius to try to be DeMarcus. We want him to be the best Julius and the best Alfred that they can be uh, and, and concentrate on, on doing what they do best. Uh, and doing what they can do to add to uh, our team and not really uh, think about uh, what Rondo or what Cousins brought to the table, but what can they bring to the table to help our team. A lot of people are impressed with Frank Jackson's workout videos, his summer league action. Now that he's healthy, what are your expectations for him? I think he's going to have an opportunity to be a very good player in this league. You know, unfortunately for him, he spent a whole year not being able to play. Uh, I think he's a, an elite athlete. Uh, I think you're going to see him be able to, uh, uh, you know, do some things that uh, is going to be somewhat surprising to the fans because I think they hadn't seen him play. Uh, I do think that uh, he's got a chance to be a very good defender uh, <laughs> simply because I think the physicality that he plays with is going to help him. Uh, it's going to take a little time, so I don't, I don't, I don't want anyone to get down on him simply because uh, as a rookie, and he is going to be a rookie this year, uh, there's going to be some things that he has to learn, but I think he got a really bright future in this league. Have you gotten a chance to talk with Okafor since you've signed him, met up with him? Yeah, I did. I, I sat down and had a meeting with him, and I think that, uh, you know, here's a guy that sometime in our league, uh, you know, especially with big guys, you just got to find your niche or you got to find where you fit best. Uh, I think this is, uh, we play a system uh, that's going to be good for what he does best. You know, he's not just a, a back to the basket player. I think he can play out on the floor. I think he's a very good passer. Uh, we got to get him better defensively, but I think this is going to be a golden opportunity for him, and I think he sees it as, as that. Looking ahead, I feel like the Western Conference just keeps getting more competitive. Obviously, <laughs> you have LeBron James now adding to the mix. Uh, sure. How hard is that knowing that every West Coast game is going to be a battle? It's extremely tough, you know. Uh, even if you go back and look last year, I mean, our record made us, you know, tied for third, but we ended up a sixth seed. Uh, and if you look at those situations, only a couple of games away from being a fourth seed. So, uh, uh, that's the way it's going to continue to be this year. And obviously the Lakers is going to be a completely different team. Uh, you know, you can say whatever you want and talk about them any way you want to, but at the end of the day, uh, they added a guy that have been to eight straight finals. And, uh, you know, you just, you just don't pick those guys up off the street. And uh, he's going to add so much to their team, so the Lakers are going to be a completely different team. And then if you just look around at the, at the West, uh, it's going to continue to be very good. Uh, you know, obviously Houston and Golden State are very elite teams, but, you know, there's also, you know, Portland and uh, even Phoenix is going to be a much better basketball team. And, you know, Sacramento added some uh, young talent to their team. So uh, 
it's going to be a, a, a very tough, uh, not only division that we're in, but it's going to be a very tough conference, and you're going to have to play great basketball to, in order to just make the playoffs. When you're talking to your guys, are you breaking up the schedule like week by week, quarters? How, how do you plan ahead? Yeah, uh, we do, and, uh, you know, we're not one of those guys that say, you know, we take it one game at a time. Mm -hmm. But, no, we try to look at it in, you know, really like in, in about five-game segments or, or weekly or ten-day segments and say, okay, we've got four or five games this week. Realistically, you know, what should we be able to do? And I think that's the way we do it. So, uh, you know, rather than, than have a broad view of the whole schedule, we try to have these mini schedules uh, to see how we can do. Do you think this is the year Anthony Davis could win league MVP? Yeah, you know, I thought if we would have done just a little bit better last year that he would have made a heck of a run at it. But obviously, uh, uh, James Harden had a tremendous year and was very deserving of the award. And, you know, Kevin Durant and what happened there. I think if we can get off to a good start and, and, and continue and play consistently uh, basketball-wise, uh, you know, it's a regular season award. So we have to try to uh, make sure that we're doing great in the regular season. But at some stage, he's going to be the MVP of this league. Uh, just because of the talent level he has and the character that he has. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Thank you, Coach. I okay. appreciate it. Great talking to you. You too. All right.